Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to discuss a comment that I got from one of the viewers who wanted to know if it's a good idea to buy a Tesla wall connector for his BYD and he actually got a couple of questions which he wanted to know because he does have a BYD and is planning to get a Tesla wall connector Gen 3 as it is cheaper and he was wondering if it does allow scheduled charging. So would he be able to control the amp or the current flow from Tesla wall connector if he's using it with the BYD Aero 3? Now there are a couple of things which I would like to add. Like first of all, Tesla wall connector is different from using Tesla app for your Tesla because when you're using your Tesla app to charge your Tesla, it does have an option to schedule the charge. But while using BYD, I cannot just open my Tesla app to control the amp of the Tesla wall connector. It doesn't work like that. So in my experience, you wouldn't be able to control the current that goes through the Tesla wall connector to your BYD. And as far as scheduling is concerned, let's move in the car and I'll show you how that works. So I forgot to bring the key with me. So let me quickly turn on the car from the app. And this is one of the good things about companies like BYD and Tesla that you would be able to use the app to actually switch on the car. And from that, let me quickly show you and take you to the settings where you would be able to control what time your car starts to charge if you plug it in. So to see how it works, you would be able to click on this car icon to open up the menu. Then you can go to energy settings and go to charge settings. And here you have option for smart charging. If you click on that, you would be able to schedule the charge. Let's say I want to schedule the charge for every day. Currently, as you can see, the time is 2.25. So let's do a timer set for 30. And let's assume I just want to do it for today. So the timer set, let me quickly move my car and park it near the charger so I would be able to plug the charger in and I'll show you how it works and will it support the schedule charging or will it start to charge before the actual timer hits. So as you can see, I just plugged the charger in and if you go and see the status on the Tesla charger, it's saying it's blue, which means the charging hasn't started yet. Now, as you can see, the charge start to move. It says it's green. But if you look inside the car, it says that it'll start at 1430 which means you would be able to schedule the charge on your Tesla charger. But let's wait for a couple more minutes when the clock hits 2.30 and we'll see if the charging would start in the BYD or not. So as you can see, it's just one minute left until we get to the time where it should technically start to charge. So let's see if that happens. And the reason I got my car switched on is because my camera just ran out of battery. So just to make sure that I have this moment recorded, I thought I'll just plug it in. And unfortunately with BYD cars, you wouldn't be able to, actually there you go. Let me quickly show you that the charging just picked up. And as you would be able to see, it just reached to 4.2 kilowatt hour. And I would be able to charge the remaining 4% in 54 minutes. And as I was saying, with BYD cars, you don't actually get an option to charge the car if your car is switched off. So you have to turn on the car to be able to use the charge ports. So coming back to the original question, which was like, would you be able to schedule the car? Clearly you would be able to schedule the car to be charged at a particular time, even while you are charging on a Tesla charger. 
So I'd recommend like if it's really cheap and you're getting a great deal, then it's not such a bad idea to get a Tesla wall connector, especially if you're planning to buy a Tesla in future. Like if you're not planning to buy a Tesla ever in future, then it might be a good idea to explore other options, including the ones that I discussed in my last video, which was more to do with the type two cable sort of connectors where you would have a individual connector going inside your charger. And the benefit of that is like, if you want to take away the cable, you would be able to take away the type 2 cable get it in your car and use it on the type 2 byo connections outside in the public network and there's uh, one issue which is like if you're using the tesla wall connector with your byd you never seem to get the 7 kilowatt hour capacity that it should give on phase one but if i plug the same connection in my tesla at the same time which means like if I just unplug it from here and just put it in my Tesla, it would give me the maximum capacity, which is seven kilowatt or 32 amps. But if I'm using it here in this BYD, as you can see, it's still giving me 4.2 kilowatt hour, which is clearly not the best the charger could deliver. But saying that 4.2 or fluctuating between 3.3 to uh, I think 6.4 is the max I've seen. That's not bad considering if you're plugging your car overnight then it's not something which i worry about and i don't think it's such a big deal and especially if you're buying a byd out of three i don't think it's one of the fastest uh, charging cars when it comes to electric cars like byd seal teslas they are a bit more quicker when it comes to charging and i believe that covers most of your concerns and if not then please uh, reach out to me in comments and i'll try to answer to those questions but from where i stand the reason we bought our tesla wall connector was more to do with because we were quite keen on getting a tesla and keeping one for a while and hence that made sense and even now clearly it uh, works great with the teslas but even with byd it suits the needs i like the design of it and as i said if you explore some options on marketplace you would be able to source your tesla wall connector even for cheaper because there's heaps of people who got or claimed their tesla wall connectors while it was still running with reference programs so hopefully it gives you information that you were seeking and if not just reach out to me in the comment section thanks a lot for watching the video until the end and i'll see you in the next one